Welcome back, everyone, to the Cat Lady, where the last episode we broke into the mailbox, and I think this is the proper way of going to chat with the mother upstairs. So let's go back up to the fourth floor, which is the one with Jesse, the guy who is honestly the most suspicious character for me to think that he's the killer or the eye of Steve or Adam or whatever it is. Uh, let's knock now. Apparently, we're not going to go. But what about Reed? Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Oh. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try, but I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. Okay, so I guess we knock now? Finally. Coming. Right. See, I, th I thought we were gonna just send, we actually got this in our mailbox. Here you go. I didn't know we had to actually read it and like figure out this. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um... How are you? <laughs> I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Come on. Uh, yeah, I'm the auntie. Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this. So she offered to come along. She is my favorite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. <laughs> no problem, sweetie. Oh, it's all so awkward. Anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester. And I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes. Well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Goddamn muffins. Would you like to come in? Both of you? Sure. It's okay. I'll wait. All right. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. No! Stop really pushing on me! Support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes. Well, you'll... Come on. Okay. I'll come. There we go. There we go. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Alright. Fine. Just I... don't overdo it. I have no idea what the heck I'm gonna do, but okay. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. The um, rocket looks thanks. so creepy that I she's doing. Myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. Okay. And before I have to go to the bathroom I'll to the loo. Drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Uh... Why don't you think of something? Oh, bird. I told you, I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? Uh, so what? Like, do I just talk with her? Examine. They're mostly photos of a baby. There are a couple of Pauline and her ex. His face... His face or his ex face missing in on each one of them. 
Wow, that was a difficult sentence to say. If she wants to cut this guy out of her life so badly, why won't she just take these pictures down? That's true. That's that is kind of kind of creepy. I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she has a very noisy child. Did you have any previous experience with children? Just say yes, just say yes. Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part-time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Alyssa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. It's true. Uh, yeah. What, hey, no, no, let's not ask that. We just see the pictures with the, the ex-husband's face cut out of each one, so let's and do this. Is isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. Ooh. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. Uh, I have a great connection let's just, with kids. Let's just keep sure the ball rolling. With Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about, would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? Ooh, there we go. We should probably see if she likes you first. I, yes, definitely. <laughs> that was just thrown at me. I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? But the baby has to really? build an immune system. What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just <laughs> ordinary things, this and that. You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... <sighs> Hug the homeless man outside. Might have forgot to... Ew. Yeah, let's... Had a bad cold. Let's not do that. Forgot to wash my hands after flushing the toilet. Hug the homeless man. Let's just do this one. I stroked a filthy looking dog. Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I'm trying to... Let's just do I it. I stroked a filthy looking dog. Oh. If that's the case, then... I would very much prefer that you wash your hands. There you go. I'll show you to the bathroom. Uh-oh. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Uh-oh. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Man, why is everyone who knocks at this game impatient as hell? Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously. Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. I need a bit of time. Okay, uh, well, let's take a look at the window. It gets dark early over the side of the building, that's true. That's a big TV. Okay, so we can't, oh wait, what? What did that say? There's nothing, er, wait, they're not in the bathroom yet. Sounds like Mitzi is telling her some fake stories about her childhood. Maybe I can quickly check the room later if she eventually starts washing her hands. Yes, door. I get it. Wait, can we go in the kitchen? With the bookshelf. Nothing useful here, just books, 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 and a few toys. Her kitchen looks sparkling clean. Uh, more pictures. Most of these photos show Pauline and her kid. There's also some guy on a few of them, but his face seems to be cut out on every single picture he appears on. Odd. Hello. Uh, hello. Hello. Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. Oh My name no! Is Rita May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitters Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. Holy crap. Uh. Yeah, let's just do this. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? No, yes. absolutely I'm not. Sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. 
There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Okay, that was relatively easy. Just don't come back yet. Well, maybe... Maybe! And hopefully Mitzi is cleaning or washing her hands now, so... The laptop. It's Pauline's laptop. Use... I don't know enough about computers. I should leave it to Mitzi. There's lots of photos of Pauline and Rex. Every one of them. Skizzers! It seems she spends a lot of time cutting her child's father to the photographs. Ah, the dark secrets we all keep from the world. Okay, so we got scissors. Stupid woman leaving baby right next to a pair of sharp scissors. Okay. Now... Letter to Joe? It's from Dr. Frank Zellman. It appears has he's sh Joe Shrink. Apparently Joe failed to attend his weekly sessions recently. Well, well. It looks like Joe just... Joe's just as messed up as I am. Or worse. Who knows? I should be the last to make judgments, really. Can... Right. Okay, so what is... I forget what the... Red, pink, black... I don't... Like, I don't know. Is there... Examine near the water running. I must hurry. They could be on any second now. Is there anything else in here for me to check? Okay. Okay, okay, that's good. So, was it my friend at the door? Nope. No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told him to go to hell. I honestly <laughs> don't know what these people are thinking. Yeah, me neither. Oh. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. <gasps> Wait! Yes. Wait? Uh... I think I got something I in my eye! I got something in my eye! Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. Don't be such a baby, Mitzi. Oh... Uh, what kind of... Okay. Well, let's... I think I forgot to turn the tap off you in the didn't. bathroom. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the there door? There you go. What? I don't... I'm feeling... I really, really don't know what I'm supposed to be... Sudden. I'm just like spewing off random oh. fucking... Do you think you're actually going to... I don't know. Excuses? Yes. yes. Definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please. What if I faint? <gasps> I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... <laughs> She's just I'll, so conflicted. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. It's that dirty dog you were touching, isn't it? Oh, poor thing. Alright, let's go let in Kate. Unless it's the fucking agency again. And if it is, I'm gonna be so sad. I hear you! Oh, fuck off! It's you. Again. Hello. Hello. Is this flat number eight? No. My name is Rita Tickle from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? Nope. Please, no. Look, sweetheart, I'm sorry. I can't help you. You are looking for a nanny, yeah? No! No, not anymore. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, wow that sounds really great, but I don't need your services. You don't need a nanny. Really? No. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <laughs> You're an evil person. You'll go to Best hell excuse for doing that ever. To your baby. Yeah. I'm evil. 
But you're thick. That was just rude. Okay, well... I have no idea what else I could be doing here. Like, we really... Bathroom door, photos... I really don't know what else I'm supposed to be doing here. We can only look inside. Can we do anything with... No. Oh, can we can we do this now? It's pure suicide. I don't do that shit anymore. There must be a safer way. I'm not talking about myself! Well, can I... Why can't I use... I, oh my god, this is... I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. There's really nothing for, for me else to do here. Can we do this? Switch that off. Now, can we go? These scissors seem sharp enough. There we go. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Oh, and snippity snap. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? <laughs> Holy I'm, crap. I'm terrified of the dark. I, 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 I can't move. Oh God, can't breathe. Calm down, it's all right. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have ran out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, th I think I'm going to faint. Such a drama oh, queen. Just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. And then what's Susan's excuse? All right, well, here we go. Check out this laptop. Right, let's do it. Hurry up. Is that oh. you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout, like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. So it's not her either. What a waste of time. Okay, so we could cross her off the list, and we also fucked her over for finding a nanny, so awesome. So it just leaves us to James, then. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness. And I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. Uh-oh. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical stall that's open till late. I'll get some stuff. Oh. You know it. Bear in mind, it's not just the fuse box. It's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too. Don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Oh, God. My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? Uh -oh. <laughs> I've never seen her before in all my life. Now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. 
I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house, anyway. Thanks, Thanks. for the support. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? A little bit. No, of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. So, that only leaves two left. We got Brian and Jesse. And Jesse just left, so that leaves us in the perfect opportunity to go check out his house. Anyways, guys, I'm going to cut off the episode here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to let me know what you guys thought down below, and we'll check out Jesse's room in the next episode. Peace out, Girl Scouts.